So I've got my Atom opened up, um, and I want to make sure I go to File and New Window so I don't really see anything else that's been going on with all the other uh, Atom projects that might have been on that computer. Okay. So the first things I want to do is make sure that my packages are installed correctly. So I click on Packages, and I make sure I have Project Manager and Remote FTP. If I don't have those installed, go to File and Settings, and go down to Packages, uh, sorry, Install, and just search for both those packages. It's just Remote FTP, okay, which says it's already installed, and Project Manager. Again, it's already installed, okay. So at this point, after we've checked that they're both installed, let's go ahead and save Sorry, let's go ahead and add a project folder. So I click on Add Project Folder, click on D, PJ, PHP Projects, Midterm Practice. That's the folder that I had fit, uh, created in step two. Notice it has the .git folder there, so I know my, my GitHub desktop is monitoring things. Now, I've seen a lot of people open up this folder and leave it open. I would suggest never touching this folder, just leave it closed. If you ever see it open, close it, don't work with it, okay? So at this point here, we want to save it as a project. So go down to Project Manager, Save Project, and click Save. Now we want to remote FTP, and we want to create a FTP config file. The four things you want to change, host, user, pass, and remote, remote the remote uh, location. So host has to start with FTP. Remember, you can write this down on a 3 by 5 card for the exam. S, mine happens to be S1. Yours is going to be your S number, gc-codec.com. All right. Now, the user is going to be whatever you created the user as in your FTP. Just write it down uh, in, your, in your C panel. So, and then it needs to be S, your S number, gc codec.com and obviously your password is your password and you're going to start by doing 4210 the remote folder is 4210 okay now you're going to save that and you're going to put it into uh, save it and notice that it, that your files are green over here and that just means that github is monitoring this and that needs to be saved and still pushed out to the out to the web so if you go into your github desktop write a comment and push it out, those will no longer be green. Okay, so at this point, we've, this is step number three, we've saved it as a project and we've configured it and we've, we, we have it, we have it working like it's supposed to. Okay, um, now we're going to move on into step four.